Another bright and beautiful day here in the Kansas City area, Lena. Yeah, it's been very nice with the sunshine and all around and southwest wind helping warm temperatures to 70 degrees this afternoon. And we still have quite a bit of a breeze to contend with right now. We've got winds gusting up near 30 miles per hour in a couple of locations for KCI St. Joseph. We've even got 37 mile per hour gust in Olathe. That's the latest report coming in from there. I anticipate once the sun sets, the winds should relax a little bit with a steady pace between 10 and maybe near 50. 15 miles per hour. So overnight lows not going to get significantly colder tonight. In fact, I think we'll be back in the 40s for many through the overnight hours. As far as wind tomorrow, the increase in wind speed expected, especially after about 9 10 a.m. I think we'll have 10 to 20 mile per hour sustained wind speeds, but gusts as high as 30 at times. So we're going to bring out the trash can tracker. If your trash has to go out tomorrow, I think you're going to see it probably pushed over a little bit, but it'll still be nearby your house. As you look right here at the uh, forecast wind speed, and gusts by midday into the afternoon. That's where we're expecting those stronger gusts between 25 and 30 miles per hour. And again, wi winding down through the evening. So high temperatures, another day near 70 tomorrow for your Monday afternoon, warm and breezy. Southwest winds between 15, 25 miles per hour, gusting up near 30. And we're going to continue that trend into your Tuesday, at least the warm and windy conditions. So nothing to track here on live power Doppler, but there is going to be some changes headed our way, especially once we get through the middle of the week. We'll be tracking our next cold front that will produce a chance for some showers, maybe a couple rumbles of thunder late in the evening Wednesday. And then again on Thursday, this is 9 a.m. I think we're going to see a good chance for some showers, a few rumbles of thunder throughout the day. And then finally that activity winding down through the evening as a cold front is going to push through. But as far as it goes down to our south, I think the front may stall somewhere around the area, which will mean that we're going to see additional chances for rain with that front just near us. So as we head through Thursday, Friday, perhaps even Saturday, I'm looking at some uh, smaller chances for showers. I don't think thunderstorm activity will be too high. I think the atmosphere will be a little bit more stabilized by then. But as this front moves through, it's also going to mean cooler temperatures. So by the time we get into this time next week, certainly going to be a different story. Here it is, our Security Bank 7-day forecast. 70 tomorrow and Tuesday. Bump up a little bit for Wednesday. Weather alerts posted for your Thursday and Friday with those chances for showers. And then it looks like much colder air returns back to reality next weekend. So hopefully you didn't put away those heavy coats, Greg. <laughs>